Hey, what's going on, you guys? Today I'm going to review the official Twitter app for the iPhone and iPod Touch. This one right here. Just going to tap on it, and this is the main window that you see when you first load the app. And first, you have to sign in, of course. But this is what you'll see. So, this is just kind of your timeline where it shows all your uh, tweets and the tweets that people that you follow have tweeted out. They'll just go to this main page. And then, yeah, you just slide up like this, and then release, and it will load more tweets. Uh, if any of your uh, people that you are following have tweeted. And then you go into your profile, which is just right here. You click right there, or tap right there, and then you go into my profile. And so right now I'm on my profile. It shows my bio and my website, and um, who I'm following, and tweets, and followers, and favorites, and all that stuff. And um, so, yeah, overall how it's laid out, I really like it. It's laid out very um, very nicely and pretty sparse and easy to get to. Then right here, of course, is your uh, messages. And then right here is personal messages, where um, if you're following someone, if they're following you, you can send personal messages. And so it will uh, be located right here. And then back to my profile, the only thing I do not like about this app is it does take some time for it to um, upload and update, I mean. So right now it says I have 111 followers. Now if I were to get five more followers right now, it would take several hours to update to 116 followers, which um, is um, kind of kind of annoying because it does take several hours, if not longer, to update that. And um, so it almost makes it a little easier just to go on my computer where it updates it immediately. And um, so yeah, that's the only downside to this app. Other than that, I really like it. It's a great app. And um, when they first came out with this app, which I got it quite a while ago, it's a free app by the way. Um, it was pretty slow. It crashed a lot, but they've done a lot of updates to it and uh, really improved it. And uh, I think it's uh, definitely getting a lot better because they've been coming out with a lot of updates for it lately. Which I've updated it to and it's updated to the latest update right now and uh, it's now compatible for the iPad 2 as well um, so you can use it on your iPad 2 if you have one you can do video and photo sharing on your iPad 2 as well but anyway that's the way it works then um, as for sending a tweet this little box right up here you just tap on that and it goes right here and you can type out wherever you want or um, you can go into photos and you can choose a photo or you can choose um, a person that maybe you want to add on your tweet like um, I'm gonna add quarter digital on and I'm gonna say uh, uh, follow these guys go follow these guys quarter digital on YouTube check them out there um, a VFX a YouTube channel they're great but uh, anyway so I could add different people and like that and you can add as many accounts in as you want and um, so you can do something like that and then you just go send and uh, it will send it right here and see it says right there follow follow these guys quarter digital and um, so anyway that's the way the app works and like I said the only complaint I have is that it is kinda slow and takes a while for it to update but other than that it's a great app I use it a lot and really like it so thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys later